Yeah. So I'm back with another one. <laughs> this one's going to be interesting. Okay, so if you guys have been saw my previous two, which uh, probably many of you have, which I'm really happy about. I saw, I watched a couple of movies um, that had been ported onto a PlayStation. So I actually, after I watched those videos, I actually went and did some research and I didn't realize that this was actually not only, these films are actually done by the legendarily, legendarily infamous uh, Dingo Pictures. So if you don't know who they are, they are, they were a company in, I think they made it found in Germany. Which I think I said during the Moses one, I said it's either Europe or North Korea. So I was right. And yeah, apparently I read up they used, uh, I think it was called Deluxe Paint on the Commodore Amiga to do all their animation. Um, now, I'm not going to be overly critical of what they use because, like, you can still make good stuff even with, like, more limited uh, technology and software. But it's very clear they didn't do that with this one. So. Now, interestingly enough, Midas Interactive, and I think what was it Phoenix Games? But anyhow, this one, this one's got THQ on it for some reason. I don't know why. Um, yeah, apparently they they didn't just do it with Dingo Pictures. Apparently, there are a number of uh, movies, like crappy animated films, which they did port to PlayStation One and PlayStation Two. Though Dingo Pictures was sort of the most infamous of all of them, considering their quality. Uh, there were rumours that apparently they're also going to play in the port to the Wii and DS, though, again, there's no, there's no substantial fact whether or not they've done that. Now, it should be noted, they did only port these, like, I think this was only distributed in Europe, uh, which, at least in Australia, that works for me, because, uh, yeah, we actually say, share the same region, which is why, oh, 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 oh this is going to be good. Now, this one's going to be a little different, because unlike the last two, I, so this is obviously based off of the Disney Pocahontas film. I haven't seen that. I have a rough idea of what this film is. It's, um, like, what's it about? You know, it's about Pocahontas, who was helping up a couple of the, uh, you know, European explorers when they were checking out the inside of, uh, the interior land of, uh, North America. And reportedly, uh, the real life story isn't nearly as nice as what uh, the Disney Pocahontas film made it out. But yeah, regardless, I'm not really sure about this. Like, I've never seen this, so I guess I'm just going to have to uh, sort of base it on its own merit in a way. All right, let's begin. How long is this? Oh, it's a whole hour, this one. Oh, uh, we got some bison. Oh, it's Bambi. It's quiet as. Let me turn up a little bit. Yeah, hopefully that's better. How oh, that's so still, <laughs> The hell is let's go. The hell is that? Okay, I guess we can go down there now. Hi, Wabu, where are you? Why are you hiding? I'm calling Poker. Just a minute. You always have to wait for him. Either he's eating or he's up to nonsense. You should choose your friend better, Pocahontas. You know. Oh Kitty, it's enough with you watching out for me. Okay. The two of you Pocahontas and the bird so are the same voice actress. Very clearly. What is the raccoon voice about? She really likes playing the nanny. Why is Raccoon jumping like a kangaroo? Hmm? Catching buffaloes, catching horses, or catching fish. Huh. Why? Why a kangaroo? Mine, you know. They always eat my salmon. <laughs> Even looks like a kangaroo. It's got the tail too. 
Wabu, start pulling up every plant. First, look at it, and then decide if you really want to eat it. You should know not to pull them up by their roots. I don't do that. What a sad voice. Even the wind is arguing with you. If you listen, you will hear what it is whispering to you. How? I don't hear anything. <laughs> I give up. You are and remain a glutton. He must listen to his soul and go on a diet. There's no need. Just now I understood what the wind was whispering. Tell me. Anyway. Mm, yes. I guess it's a miracle. What was that? Yes, that's right. A miracle. I'm not allowed to tell anyone. Especially not you. Anyway, can we go fishing now? Again, he... Why are you kangaroo? Were they that lazy? They couldn't animate him. I don't know, seeing on a horse or something? That's what I call a good catch, little fella. You can make a chain out of its claws. And you can wear it around your neck always, and it will bring you luck. Nothing <laughs> up, up again. Little Feather is too proud of his catch. She won't let it out of his sight, not a single second. Those hyenas? That bear bacon. <laughs> there are no hyenas in play North America. Peace with the neighboring tribe. It looks really bad for us. We will die of starvation. No corpses anymore. The reason is the peace pipe. Go away. This is our territory. You have no business here. I'm the bad. Forget about us being enemies. We should do things together now. Things together? Are you oh, just cut off. That was already told to me by my great, 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 great grandfather. <laughs> no way. Can't you understand? The peace pipe is to blame for all of this. Nonsense! If we steal the peace pipe, we still will get any corpses anyway. That shows how silly you are. It's very simple. No peace pipe, no peace, no peace. Many corpses. That's what we need now. I don't so the animals are stealing the peace pipe? You almost made Pocahontas fall into the water. You shouldn't tempt her with this it nonsense. His feet are curling up. Just the opposite. I can't get over that. <laughs> you always see the worst and take the fun out of things. You're just an old killjoy, that's what you are. Why do you call me a killjoy? Why is he always looking up like that? It's so weird. I am responsible for the chief. Yes, he expressly told me to watch his daughter. Hmm. Why do you ask the bird? Who killed it? Oh, and I think that this bear, in some way or another, is a relative of mine? Well, I don't know. I really don't know. It's, it's very weird. Yes, I don't like it. You will end in the same way if you continue this nonsense. Little Feather killed his first bear. From now on, he will belong to the circle of warriors and hunters. It's about time that you get your man name. As of today. Your name is Quickspear. Is that a thing? Quickspear. You may smoke the peace pipe with me. I'd like to say that. Huh. I hope he gets ill as punishment for killing a relative of mine. Yeah. That's a... Is that what the peace pipe normally looks like? <laughs> He will learn it in time. Spoken that good tobacco. Wait! See, in the harbor of my. <laughs> like, <laughs> That was a cat pauses. Okay. So. They 
<laughs> I couldn't even bother splitting up because, like, you choose the languages. Also, I only had to choose one of three languages, yet there are four languages. Why is that? So instead of, and I like that, <laughs> at the end of it, like, English, Dutch, German, French. Oh, okay, that's just, that's just brilliant. Okay, let's continue. All right, so we're in line. Well, that bird was going to run into that in a sec. All hands on deck. Hoist the sails to the ropes and hurry up. Look at England for the last time, my son. We'll never come back. Poverty will be over now forever. Will we never be hungry again in America? No, my son. The soil is more than fertile and much more than you can imagine. Um. Be hungry again, and best of all, more grandfather, grandson, not father and son. Dad, the simpleton is dreaming of freedom and wants to till a potato field. For me, freedom is another thing. If I stayed here, I would be in prison for life. How many years would you have been in prison here, buddy? <laughs> years, not one. They would take me to the gallows. That's a bit of luck to meet old Captain Crunchbone, eh? He's as enthusiastic of America as if it were the Holy Land. There should be one vein of gold after the other. You just have to bend down and the gold sticks to your hands. <laughs> oh, that's a bad boy. You call that clean? Didn't I tell you that a hundred times? I want the deck as bright as the throne room of Queen Victoria. That's a bit pixelated, isn't it? Do it a second time. <laughs> yes, yes, princess. You are the best of all. What a bloody dump this place is. Eh? Uh, I think that's from Aristocrats. A drink. That is what I need. All the animals just talk. Hi, soldier. Bring me a cup of fresh milk. Immediately, please. Shut up, little cat. We're here to protect the settlers and to fight against the wild Indians in the new land, but not to wait on badly trained cats. Be gone. I'm going to tell Mr. Crunchbone. You're going to get it. Badly trained beast. One a day, I'm gonna kill a cat and serve him to Mr. Crunchbone for lunch. <laughs> Watching that flip just. Didn't serve him right, the old tyrant. I tell you, we what? Crunchbone, a boss to ask a Wait, is that a person or a ventriloquist? His meals are no more. Then he will get only tin of food three times heated. He 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 he. Oh, that's him. That's like such a bad. That's a stereotype. To America, to America, loosen the lines. We're sailing away. To oh, they're singing is just, uh, just beautiful. Always westwards with the wind. To America. To America, we are men and we are free. To America, America. Imagine if this was the bloody um, bloody national anthem. Yeah, that bird's got the right idea. <laughs> what the what the dolphins doing? I like the bird was up there. Seagulls. I love the flying animation just it's down to the put up. Down to the put up. <laughs> yeah, just down to the put up. Down to the put up. Look at them drinking themselves silly over there. I've had enough. You're all drunk. Let's play poker or some other game. I think you want to fight, eh? Land in sight! Land in sight! Get some out! There's work to be done! You haven't even got time to finish your drink here quietly. Get Pull the sails! Hurry up! Drop anchor! I was going to say, wouldn't most of them have died already on that trip? It's usually pretty brutal.
What kind of background music is that? It's a big hour for a small time. Not bad, Pocahontas. Soon you will be able to keep up with me. And don't forget, the first shot must kill your prey. Otherwise you will only injure the game, and it must suffer unnecessarily. <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. Come on, Poker. God damn. Come on, you. You've just got to see this. Wabu, you are a nuisance. Wabu the kangaroo. Oh, gigantic canoe has landed at the coast. It's so big. You, you, you can't imagine it. All those who are on it must have been terribly sick. They're all totally pale. Oh, oh dear. They must have been very sick, that lot. <laughs> well, they were on a bite for several months. Honestly, they're probably, they're probably tracks. Tell me again from the beginning what you have seen. Just as I said, a gigantic okay, so everyone can just understand the animals. Landed on the coast. I don't know anymore. Hey, men. Like, freaking why? Why do they understand each other? There has never been any report whatsoever that a white man has ever entered our country with peaceful intent. Father, you always look at the dark side of a situation. And your brain, my daughter, has been clouded by a good heart. I tell you, the white man will take position of our country and will destroy it. Many of our brothers have to suffer through them already. There will be a war between our people and the people of the Pale Faces. I understand that you are worried. However, we don't know anything about the intentions of these white people. We only know what is reported about them. Let's see, the Chief's got a pretty good... Um, I think his fear is pretty solid. That you are not only brave when fighting bears, but that you are also clever and skillful. You will watch the white men. Splitting axe will go with you. Huh? They can't really be dangerous. <laughs> huh? They're sick. They will never understand. I love how they, it's uh, so half ass the animation. It's just a. Uh, <laughs> just teleport back. And did. Everyone should know. I was your captain not only on the ship, but I'm your boss here on land too. Oh, yes, sir. As soon as you're sober again, you start looking for gold. And to make it absolutely clear, 60% of the profit belongs to me. Oh, this means the crunch bears are an exploiter. Yeah, it just eyes his eyes are rolling. He's that drunk. Oh. Okay, then this has been settled. And now to you. Your job is to make sure that a production of gold is possible without any disturbances. The Indians are bloodthirsty heathens. Don't start negotiating with them. They'll sly when they show up in front of your sight. Shoot! For dead Indians, you get five dollars. I'm going to kill this pale face immediately. That would be silly, Quickspear. Five dollars is act back in those days. And you, are you could probably buy a house with that. Welfare. First, you build a hut for me. Wait. And also, they're British. It'd be pounds. Saloon. Isn't pounds, not dollars. There'll only be scraps in it. Beyond that. We have to grow so many potatoes and catch as much fish as the cook needs to make fish and chips. Fish and chips. Barca Miseri. I gotta believe it. He's abroad and wants to have a man you cut like a home. He does not look like he's dressed from that era at all. And I'll go to work. March. Be quiet. I heard something. Oh, it's Bambi again. And I think it's a bunny from Bambi. Hey, what is he going to go? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Well, they really run quickly. That chief? Poker, poker, help. That was thunder. A thunderstorm. What's the matter? Look as if a black ghost is close at your heels. 
The white men have wicked magic. They point sticks at the game. There's a horrible bang, and the animals fall down dead. No, Quickspear. That is not wicked magic. Those are firearms. These weapons are totally superior to our arrows. They can also kill people. <coughs> Tell me what else you have heard. The leader of the white man has offered a prize for each Indian scalp. Great chief, we must so he's before they kill he's personally knowledgeable about them already. As many as five times two hands, and every one of them has a fire weapon. Much suffering will come to our people if we have to fight against these well armed white men. I did not understand a word they just said. Pocahontas is right. There are too few to be able to match the white people. Ride on and inform the chieftains of our tribal neighbors. We will have a meeting to advise each other. Meanwhile, we will just watch the white people. <laughs> the Indians are not what they used to be. This is all I needed. They won't go to the white people to smoke the peace pipe? That's no use. I told you we must steal it. Oh no, I don't think that's going to do anything. It's like a pointless subplot. Oh no, maybe she's going back to look at the white people. I know her. Let's go. We have to take care of her. Go! <laughs> Who, what genius came up with that? I don't build that pretty quickly. Took him like an hour. Yeah, just think of walking left and right. I think you can do forward and back. <laughs> Hello, there. No animation for them turning around. French zone. How can anyone live with this noise? I don't think it's so bad. I'm going to find out where the noise is coming from. Oh. You are crazy. Come back immediately. Can someone put shoot him and put him out of their misery? It'd be greatly appreciated. Well, I mean, he's a raccoon, so he doesn't really get, you know, sexy women. Mm, Human that women. Much better. You, that one is garbage. How can anyone eat garbage? <laughs> What's that? A very little line with the decoration around its neck. You have to tie your head in order it doesn't drop off. <laughs> Look at yourself. You with those painted sunglasses on your face. Of course, you look crazy. Painted sunglasses. Have you? Huh? Help! Help! Attack savages, Indians, natives, foreigners! Help! Help! <laughs> yes, that's an amusing Indian. You want to steal our supply? Oh, wait, we'll settle that in front. Help! help. <laughs> that's so dumb. Killing that's enough now. Stop! Stop! Pocahontas, stay here! Let Wabu loose immediately. You are hurting him. You think you're brave, you... Okay, that was at least funny. Just... Just a job. How dare you? Come on, Pocahontas. Stop it. Let's get out of this place. Wabu, it's right. Just for once. Come on, hurry up. Most beautiful girl I've ever seen. Her eyes, her voice. Can't get her off my mind. She's charming, she's lovely, like the early morning light. She's clever, just she's not wise. This lovely girl I know. He's only glimpsed her for a second. <laughs> I was not expecting songs. So dear, 
And then at last I'd see the Indians, how they really are. For if I knew your name, you pretty Indian girl. Yeah, that wasn't very romantic. Haven't I said it before? Rabble will be our disaster. Didn't I say it? Don't talk such rubbish. Everything would have gone well if this silly cat had not betrayed me. If I could see her again, I'll teach her a lesson. How can you eat garbage? <laughs> and then she called us wild men. Oh, are you listening to me at all? Like the not really. Of the sea. What? The white man had blue eyes like the sea. I guess that's not given the right to pull my tail. Huh. Hi. Oh, great. Now she's falling for him, too. Where are you going now? Leave her alone. If she wants to be alone, we'll do the same. They had one look at each other. It's a long time since you visited me, Pocahontas. What's going on, my girl? I'm worried about you. Yes, old bush. It's the arrival of the white men. Okay, I haven't seen Disney's Pocahontas. Just offered a prize for every dead Indian. I... Don't think that I'm doubtful there was a bush. They may attack the white men. Oh dear, old bush. I'm afraid. That just seems weird. A big fight. If this should happen, there would be terrible bloodshed and your people would be destroyed. But what can I do? Try to find out as much as possible about the. Why is it just free holes? It just. Sorry, my mind's immediately gone with gutter with this bush. Just. Pucker, 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 pucker. <laughs> Puckering up. You can find a way to bring the level headed men of both together. Stop it. You know I don't like that. <laughs> Stop. You know what the hell I get. I know if he is good or bad. For no reason he annoyed Wabu. But when I talked to him, he changed completely. He has wonderful blue eyes. Pocahontas. Did you fall in love? Oh, I see. You fell in love. But think about it well, Pocahontas. If you follow the voice of your heart, it may happen that you cause a lot of harm to your... Now, I feel like this is too dumb, even for Disney. <laughs> graffiti. If I catch you again stealing my potatoes, I will beat your bottom black and blue so that you won't. Oh, he's got his fish and chips. But these are our potatoes. We have grown them. Be quiet, Bobby. But you told us that in America nobody gives us any orders. Yes, my son. But I still said that and I still believe it. But it needs time. Soon we will reach our goal. You stupid peasants! You want to be free! Perhaps you will even recognize a trade union! I'll teach you all a lesson! Put them in prison, those bandits! How pretty animals can be so rude! Hey, you come here! Show me your bags! Damn, he doesn't miss a thing! That's exactly what Gold. I thought! You wanted to steal, that's it. I know your kind. But I don't want to be a bad boy. These nine nuggets of gold are for me, and you can keep one of them. And now, go ahead. He's a real shark. Mmm, the white people are not talking in a friendly way to each other. Hello, Poker. You've probably been looking for me. I wasn't looking for you, but since you're here, what do you want? You weren't looking for me? That's not very nice of you. Are you self-centered? Don't be offended. Tell me what you were looking for. No. Mm, well, you know. Mm. Really unbearable. It's like half of his voice saying just. Oh, yes. Waboo! Could it be that you're in love with her? Rubbish! Of course I'm not in love. <laughs> They changed the color of its face. What are you doing here in the first place? Huh? I think they didn't make a straight red. I, like, why not? 
the old bush again. He believes it's not enough just to watch the pale man. He says we have to try to understand them and learn to know their customs and habits, and they should know ours. Then perhaps the war can be avoided. I can't say. Yeah, that didn't happen, though. What I want to do to understand the white cat, but I cannot express myself as well as you can. <laughs> then everything is fine. Right, Rabu? You better not talk with the fat man. The one sitting over there by the cat is... Just realize, whenever she's on a horse, she has, like, when some kind of... Sandals, I think it is. Whenever she's walking, she's barefoot. I'm not getting care of that at all. Are you going to start the saloon this time? No. Raccoon, I have got to Crunch bar. You can come down, I won't do anything to you. No, 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 last time I was enough. It's better to talk this way. I think it's the real estate. Tell me, Wabu, isn't that your name? Where's the girl who was with you last time? I'm here for that reason. She sent me. She wants to talk. I still find it's weird. It's just the animals and humans can just all understand each other seamlessly. I want to come with you. Amish? He's not even listening to me. Hi, you. Don't you know me? <laughs> Hello, little lion. I want to work with you. But later, now I have to watch poker. Yeah, I've got to go now. Bye. Ah, oh, he just leaves me behind. Not well behaved. Okay, what can you do expect from a wild man? So let's see. Uh, she voices Pocahontas, the bird, the cat. You were angry at me the last time when you met. I think him and the raccoon. Enough reason to be mad at you. He also voiced by the same dude. I'm here to make peace with you. What do your people call you? John. What does that mean, John? John? John just means John. That's my name. If it isn't important to know a name's meaning, how do you recognize each other? By looking at our faces, of course. What rubbish! By the face. The white men all look the same. You cannot recognize. Hey, the men all look the same. Well, if you recognize each other by your faces, I will name you Blue Eyes. I came up with that idea quite a while ago. My name is Pocahontas. What does that mean, Pocahontas? Well, Pocahontas means uh, little rascal, but. My name will change this year. Before the winter comes, I'll get the name of an adult. Why do I feel like that's not what a name actually means? Just a hunch. Now you see with that time, she did some funny things. Polka, can you remember when you... Stop that waboo. Nobody is interested in these old stories. You're right. Oh, come on, I make it a bit more interesting. See you later, Polka. Many bad things have been said about God, that's such a bad friend, Michael I cannot believe that you have come here with peaceful intentions. We've come here to make this country fertile. From where we've come, the country cannot feed the people anymore. Many of them are forced to emigrate to find a new home. There are good people, and they want to live in peace. I don't think that was a reason. Blue eyes. Our scouts have reported that your chief has ordered to kill every Indian. Well, you know, there are some people among the white men who have come here only because of the gold, and for them, a human life is not worth much. You are ready to kill for gold? What do you want with all this gold? We use it to make jewelry, and I'm happy about that. But you obviously love gold because it is only gold. Please don't get angry, Pocahontas. You do many things that we don't like. You scalp chop your dead enemies, and... You show them around in your villages. Now that is barbaric. Keep quiet, blue eyes. Honestly, I think the white people have done a lot worse in in back country. then. Now you turn up and want to change everything. You have no right to do that. Please come back. Can't you see we've been arguing again? Look. Even your raccoon and cat live together more peacefully. Hey, you've had your food brought up to you. Cut up in small pieces? 
You can't even look after yourself. I cannot bear the sight of dead animals in one piece. You're a carnivore. And you don't want to see dead animals? They should all be cut up so that you don't see the pretty mouse that it was before you eat it. Still, I like you. Yeah. Now, imagine if I hunted myself and all the blood were on my nice white fur. Oh, dear. Now, you then you must clean yourself up. I bet, bet you can't even do that. It's not necessary to clean myself. Every evening, I'm brushed until my fur is very shiny. You see? Oh, good heavens. Do all animals live like that in your country? Of course not. I'm someone very special. I belong to Mr. Crunchbone. He is the most powerful man in the camp. Crunchbone. You must obey him. Yes, yes, I know. I swear that I remember that song. It said Crunchbone. You're not pompous man. And he's the one who the white people have made their chief. Because they're so stupid, that's why. Don't say anything about Mr. Crunchbone. Otherwise, I'll... Well... What are you going to do? Come here, you probably have forgotten how to fight. You pamper too much, huh? Don't <laughs> 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 be really afraid. <laughs> oh, 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 That's not bad for a beginning. Well, you're not lost to the animal world yet. Perhaps one day you might... What'd she do? An acceptable little animal. Didn't I hurt you? De <laughs> Definitely not. In order to hurt me, you really must practice a little bit. But that's the end of the lesson. I must go to polka. Shoop de bop de woo. I am the wabo. I roam around the forest and I don't need any shoe. Shoop de dop de do be da. I am a What's and I feel a What's this song? Do be da de do. I love the fat berries, the da 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 da, and the sausage fries and raw. Like you know something about love. You know this is such a nothing song. Me, well, me, well, me, well, me. I am the bubble. I'm home and ran the forest <laughs> and I don't need any shoes. Shoop de wop de do we don't. What's the sack? Just a zooming misfoot. Nirvana, the new to be for the Indiana. Do you know what a raccoon does? A raccoon dies down and rest. Oh, wow, wow, shoopy doopy doo. I am the wabo. The fact they're talking over each other is probably not helping. Chieftain Poitan, what is wrong with you? Look here. That is fire water, and anyone who drinks it is haunted by bad ghosts. And they make him lose control over his body and his brain. Oh, girl, the raccoon's going to be a drunk now. Oh, King Claude was caught by the white man at scouting. I was so worried about him. Yes, I was looking for you. You can't go off without saying where to. I was really worried. I was. That is unimportant now. But Piri has seen how small King Cloud was taken prisoner by the whites. They have forced him to drink the fire water. And they've cut his hair as well. Yes, look at him. Exactly. Then they have told him he should tell the chief if another Indian was to be seen near the pale faces, he would be scalped immediately. But, but isn't it the thing? Peace is over. Now we fight the pale faces. <laughs> this is the most pointless subplot with those two. They just want to. Not all white men are wicked. I have talked with them. Most of them want to live in peace with us. Let me go to them once again and negotiate with them. They should make you an offer of how they. I really see what the drunk raccoon's gonna look like. If refuse to, then we have got to fight. I guess then. My daughter. Point she gives us like, oh, I guess. If they don't, then oh, I guess they're gonna fight. But if you're not back in two hours, then we will move against the whites. Oh, look at them! Oh dear! Oh dear! 
We send the food to money in our grand little house. Oh, dear. This is unbelievable. Oh, I'm so sick. Oh, oh he's not going to throw up, is he? Oh, man. You? I know things like that. That happens with Mr. Crunchbone as well. Nobody can help him. He must sleep off his intoxication. Just carry on with your work. I'll look after him. What does that mean? To look after him. <laughs> oh, Finnegan. I tell you, the Indians are not as wild as Mr. Crunchbone wants us to believe. I don't know. Most of them are sly and dangerous, and they don't believe in our God. That proves everything. No, no, Finnegan. They're only different from us. Perhaps one day they can be converted to our Christian belief. Oh, so he's not about being in peace. You never know. He wants to make them Christians. If I that, oh, be careful! Don't shoot, Finnegan. That's Pocahontas, the Indian girl, the one I told you about. Pocahontas, this is Abe Finnegan, who wants to settle in the country in peace and friendship with the Indians. I'm afraid he will not reach his goal. Because my people are ready to fight against you. But Pocahontas... Be quiet, Blue Eyes. The white men have robbed one of my brothers. They have stolen his headdress and have forced him to drink so much firewood that he is quite ill now. Whiskey? They've given him whiskey? Believe me, Pocahontas, this firewood is not only dangerous for the Indians. Also, many of the white men become wicked and ill. Unfortunately, I'm not powerful enough to take it away from them. But if your chief's is powerful, he should... Trust me, all they did was drink back then. this devil stuff will make you very unhappy. How can you forbid it if the white men force my brother... The main reason you drink is because, um... ...presence from you in order to pay for these offences. ...is, um... ...because water would often be contaminated. That's why you drink alcohol, because it's sort of, um... ...it's not, con it's not contaminated, because the alcohol kills off bacteria. As I know him. No, Pocahontas. There's no need in talking with him. I'll go to your Mr. Crunch Bone. That's not possible, Pocahontas. That's too dangerous. Stay here. There, go immediately. Don't Nine! shoot. Nine! Don't shoot. Oh. oh, your chain hasn't brought you any luck, Quickspear. Now I can't do anything. There will be war. I didn't want to do it. I could hardly allow an Indian to, 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 to kill John. He is dead. That was pretty anticlimactic death. Run away. Run away as quickly as you can. My brothers will soon be here. It will be a disaster for you. The girl's right. John, come on. No, Pocahontas. I won't run away. I'm not running away. I've explained that it was not a bad intention. They'll understand it. No, they will not. He killed the dude. Blood has been spilled. They want to take revenge. But Pocahontas, what will become of us? I'd hoped... This is developing very quickly. Yes, Quick Spear is dead. You'll die for it, white man. <laughs> war, war, at last, at last, war! <laughs> um, I'm surprised he hasn't fallen off uh, being like that. It's getting awful now. What will Poker do? She really loved him. It's all my fault. Rubbish. It's not your fault. Who told you that? But I drank from the poison fire water. And, and then I became ill and, and almost died. And therefore the chief wanted to dig up... I want to see what he was like he was hung over. Poker, i got to go and talk to Blue Eyes. You're wrong, my dear. No war will be started because of you. It is because of smoking cloud. Oh dear, have a look at that. This man has killed Quick Spear, he must die. That's it. Our law demands that blood be paid with blood. Before the sun sinks, the pale face has to die. All right, let's see how he gets out of this. Crunchbone has been waiting for something like this to happen. 
Now he can hit out at last. Horrible disaster will follow. Oh, we must fetch Polka. I know where I can find her. Come on. I can know where I find Why didn't she go back with the rest of them? I mean, the cat's not bad, but then why'd she go back to the bush? Why are our laws so strict? I know there is no solution. Blue eyes has to die. Blood has to be paid with blood. It was always. Oh, she's quite accepting about that. Our laws were made a long time ago, but laws cannot be changed, even if many of us want to do so. Not only Blue eyes is going to die. The white men want to avenge him. There will be a horrible bloodshed. You must think about it, Pocahontas. It is right to follow the old laws if an immeasurable suffering will come over your people. Or is it necessary to examine the old laws? It's a long way, Pocahontas. You so we're doing uh, laws made to be broken or something like that? Quick, Pocahontas. They're going to kill him. You've got to do something. There will be war between our people and the white men. Did I hear right? Did you say our people? Just now? That's not important. Come on, Pocahontas. <laughs> That's not important. Run as fast as you can. Okay, it was not necessarily showed then. Okay, here we go. All right, there's a jail. Shoot! For every dead Indian, you will get five dollars. Again, it would have been pounds. Listen, white man. <laughs> That's a pretty bad you dancing. You will pay for the life of Quickspear with your life. That is the law of our people. So they're going to kill him. The law isn't fair. Pocahontas. Yes, everybody listen to me. I tell you this law isn't fair. This white man didn't kill Quickspear. It was a white man who killed the warrior. And a white man has to pay for it. That's the law. Yes, but it should be compatible with our honor to kill an innocent man. No white man is innocent. If we spare the life of this man, it is only a question of time until he will murder one of our brothers. The white people are our enemies. Yeah, he's got a point. They must die. It's beginning. Present your rifles. Is it a bush? Yeah, he's in a bush. Listen to me. What will happen when you kill Blue Eyes? The white men will take revenge for Blue Eyes. We have seen ourselves what weapons they possess. We may be brave, but still we all will die. It isn't worth while. I can never understand what those two are saying. I know what they want from the start, but it's like... They want war so they can eat all the dead people. Shoot at the same time. One, two. Stop, don't shoot. That girl is saying sounds rational. If there will be a fight, not only the Indians will be killed, a lot of us will die too. We didn't come over here in order to die. We came over here to start a new life. Cards, cards, all cards. No, no, they, they came over there to we kill people. The chief decides, but he won't like our deal, I tell you that. No one can say the chief power town sent. I like how they have the same body shape. Because of a <laughs> the chief and uh, the other dude. Untie the white man. It's unbelievable. This coward of a chief is persuaded by a little girl, but she can't do that with me. No. Attention, watch it. chief. Oh, watch it, watch it. I give you five um, to send me the white man. That gun does not shoot multiple bullets. It's a musket. If you don't do that, then you will all die. Oh. Hey, what do you want from me? Attack immediately. Look, the redskins are aiming at us. Oof. There was no need to shoot the chief. Our comrade was already free, but you have nearly killed him. 
Okay, that voice was bad. I was surprised they used Redskin of all things. We use cheap, we cannot protect the settlers anymore. That's mutiny! I'm doubtful they use that word in um the Dizzy Pocahontas. But we will not obey you any longer. Ride to the fort and tell the general what happened. He should decide what to do with Mr. Crunchbone. And I'll go talk to the chief. Oh great chief, we don't want a war any more than you do. Why is that the kid with it? Peace with you. But Mr. Crunchbone, he belongs to us, and we will punish him. Listen to him, Chief Parton. He's a good man. Oh, he just has a bullet wound. I shall always be deeply in debt to you, my white brother. What is your name, old man? Abe Finnegan, big chief. Sit down next to me, Abe Finnegan. We will start the peace negotiations. And everyone lives happily ever after. I guess. Until, you know, eventually all the white people do exactly what they were planning to do. Again, I don't think Nikki would have done anything. But we two rescued the chief, didn't we, princess? And you? What did you do? Nothing. We have managed to make peace with the white men. Can you also make peace with each other? Peace? With, with him? him? No chance, Pocahontas. To get those two to make peace is more than you could ever do. Hey, Poka! Looks like that blue eyes is coming. I mean, it's at least resolved somewhat okay. You're looking sad, blue eyes. What's depressing you? Pocahontas, I'm a soldier, and that means that I have to obey the orders that one gives me. I have to go back to England. <gasps> oh dear! Our ship will cast off tonight. The general has ordered me to bring Mr. Crunchbone back to England as a prisoner. I must go back with him and later give it evidence as a witness. I wonder if this is how the movie ended up with some evil general. Than it already is. I will surely come back. <laughs> <laughs> it just expect he's exploding everywhere. I will say this movie definitely wants me to watch makes me want to watch the real Pocahontas. Just to find out how it actually goes. Time is not ripe enough for the love between an Indian girl and a white man. Oh, Pocahontas! Dear Peary, I know you want the best for me. But leave me alone. Don't be worried. If you think so. Oh, the music's swelling up. Princess, what about you? Will you also go back to England? With your Mr. Crunchbone? No, I'm staying with you. Will you please remove my ribbon? <gasps> yes, with pleasure. Well, that's it. Weird. I'm roaming around the forest and I don't need any shoe. Shoop it up, it do. I'm the wabo. And I fish the shoop it up, it do. Well, that happened. I believe in it strongly. Someday, white people and red people and human beings of all colors <laughs> will live together in peace and they will love each other. Do you know one question what they said? I feel like saying red...
They they not think red people probably isn't the best word to use. Okay, well that's that film done. Uh, I still think Hunchback of Notre Dame is worse. Again, I just felt like a lot of nothing. Like the plot wasn't too convoluted. Like again, it's just the same issue with all the previous ones: bad voice acting, bad animation, dialogue. So yeah, next time, next time I do one of these, I've got a very special one. Uh, one animal soccer world. That is going to be bloody interesting. Well, I'll see you then in that next one. So I figured just for the hell of it, I'd showcase a couple, a couple of the other features you can have in this game. So yeah, this is the coloring in section. It literally, you can only just fill in colors. There's no drawing or anything like that. You just fill in the colors and, uh, yeah, you too can also color in, I guess. Yeah, this one's just uh, just a sliding puzzle. Uh, I just can't bother to finish this one. All right, that'll do.